Welcome back, Electric Racers, to Let's Race Pokemon Red Nuzlocke between myself and JJ Squirtle. In the last episode, we got um, Flower the Bulbasaur, who we met at level 5 and is now at level 7. And Flower learned Leech Seed as a new move. We had a battle against our rival JJ, which is our rival. Um, and we got our Pokédex. So we have seen Bulbasaur, which is our starter. We have seen Charmander. And we have also seen Pidgey and Aratata as well. In today's episode, I'm just going to be going to the, get some Pokéballs and just... Just going to be getting some Pokéballs. Meaning five Pokéballs. And hopefully we can get a new team member today as well. So we let let me actually go to the Pokemon Center to show you the I believe they have a town map in the game still. Actually yeah they do, I just gotta show you the areas. Actually now I can just let you know. So yeah, we can get our encounters. We can get three encounters today. We're going to get one on Route 1, which is going to be Aratata, because it's the first encounter we get after we get Pokeballs, and we just got our Pokeballs now. So the first one I'm going to be getting is Aratata. I'm just going to be going for a tackle, just to weaken it up a little bit, get a nice critical hit off of it, and we lower our defense. So now I'm just going to be going to throw, throw, throw a Pokeball at it. One two, three, and it stays. So we capture a Rattata. New to Pokedex data will be added for Rattata. So we, Rattata is a rat Pokemon. It is one foot tall and weighs eight pounds. It bites anything when it attacks. It's small and very quick. It is a common sight in many places. So according to Nuzlocke rules, we do have to nickname a Pokemon. The Pokemon. So I'm gonna be nicknaming this Rattata. Slave. So unfortunately, I was planning on getting the Pidgey, but we'll have to get another flying type, I guess, when we need the area. So I'll be right back after I heal up. So yeah, so now we have two Pokemon that can learn the move cut. I was only planning on a uh, flower, but I guess I can teach it to... Um, hidden item right here is a potion. And that's another, that's where you can use cut to cut down as well. So I'm just going to move these two around real quick. Ratata is, Slave is a physical attacker. And it knows the moves Tackle and Tail Whip, which isn't too bad. Those are the two basic moves. Next move it learns is Hyper Fang or Quick Attack. I think it's Quick Attack. So the encounter over here is in now if it's now if you already have the Pokemon the same Pokemon that you already encountered for the um for the um if you already have Pokemon you encounter that you already have you can feign it and go after the second one. So it's gonna be a, a Rattata fight. So I'll be right back after I take this one out. Not too bad at all. Slave gets 24 experience points and is doing pretty good. Hoping to get a flying type here. I'm hoping this is Route 23, I think. And another rat to tell. I'll be right back. You 
And there goes the other Rattata. Slave Quartz to level 4. It is still a physical attacker. And we still didn't encounter a new Pokemon yet. I'll be right- I'll just- I'll just feign it with Bulbasaur, I'll be right back. There goes the rat that says slave gates gain 16, flower gain 16, and still no new Pokemon yet. And there's another Rattata. Everybody's just getting experience points today, it looks like. And I'll be right back after I go heal up. And I am back again, sorry about that. Now let's look for a Pokemon we do not have and hopefully we can be able to catch it. I'll be back again after I faint his Rattata. Slave is actually doing really good. Slave just grew to level 5. And still didn't learn a new move yet, but that's alright though, because we're taking our time with this and we're gonna have fun doing it. So here's another Rattata again. I hope you all are having a great Saturday today, or Sunday for those of you who- or Friday or Saturday for those of you who are out of country, or overseas. I hope you are all having a great day today. And um, I hope you guys will all continue to have a great day. I'm having a good day so far right now myself. It is sunny where I am at. And I am just trying to find a new Pokemon to catch. But it is not in my favor right now at all. So Slave is actually getting a whole bunch of experience points today so far. And the day is just getting starting as well for it. Level 4 Rattata. So now they're starting to get a little higher again now. Higher, they go between 2 to 4 where I am at right now. And of course I have got the switch to a flower. My brother... I uh, saw so Yanks yesterday, and um, he's actually doing really good, and said thank you to everybody who has wished him a happy birthday, whether on here, or on Discord, or on Twitter, or on Facebook. He, he really appreciates you, everybody out there, and just says thank you. Um, everybody's just a real blessing to everybody for what's been going on. Flower grew to level 8 as well. Here's a different one. A male Nidoran. This is going to be a new addition to the team. And it, so it uses Leo on us. What I'm just gonna do is, I get a feeling it's gonna go for attack, so I'm just gonna switch out to flower. And that was correct. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna throw a Pokeball at it and try to catch it. And, alright, the male Nidoran was caught. New Pokedex data will be added 
for Nidoran. It is a poison pin Pokemon. It is 1 foot 8 and weighs 20 pounds. Stiffens its ears to sense danger. The larger its horns, the more powerful its secreted venom. So yes, I am going to give it a nickname. And I am going to name it Venom. So I'd like you guys to welcome Venom the Nidoran. That took a really long time to get Venom. So I'll be right back after I go heal up. And I am back. Sorry again. I'm just gonna be training up here to get to get Venom and um, Slave to level seven. So I'll be. I'm just. I'll just. i uh, gotta switch those because that drives me absolutely nuts. <laughs> um. So yeah, it's gonna. It looks like it's gonna be a tackle fight. So I'll just be right back. And there goes that needle hand with to Venom's tackles. I'm actually gonna look and see what the stats are for Venom, because I have not looked. Venom is a physical attacker as well. Okay, and it this Venom does take a while to level up as well, so that's gonna be very interesting. So we encounter another Rattata at level 3. I'm going to switch out to my slave. Because I'm trying not to use up Venom that much. I'll be training everybody up to level 10. When I get to uh, off screen when I get to Pewter City. So this Rattata is really lowering our defense. So it must be trying for a tackle. But we take out the we take it out beforehand. I'll be right back again. Alright, I'm just gonna go up to the next route to see what we can encounter. When I go shop in Pewter City, I have to take the Winding Trail in Viridian Forest. Ah, uh, I have had my coffee and now I feel great. Sure, you can go through. Are you in a hurry? Nah, we're not in a hurry. I see you're using a Pokédex. Yes, we are using a Pokédex. To help Professor Oak out with his research. When you catch a Pokemon, Pokedex is automatically updated. What? You don't know how to catch a Pokemon? I'll show you how to then. So this guy is, this is just like a tutorial. So I'm just gonna fast forward through this. So as you can see, it's a, it's a level 5 Weedle. He just, he's got a whole bunch of Pokeballs. He's just gonna throw one Pokeball at it. And he just catches it in one poke, in one throw. But normally you're supposed to weaken the Pokemon first before you catch it. First, you need to weaken the target Pokemon. And now we're gonna, oh, trainer tips. Catch Pokemon and expand your collection. The more you have, the easier it is to fight. That is very good to know. And now we are in Route 2, Viridian City to Pewter City. So I'll be getting it. 
So let's see. Route 1 was Slave. Now we're going to be on Route 2. So let's see what Pokemon we can get for Route 2. A Pidgey! Exactly what I was looking for. A level 3 Pidgey. That was perfect. Because Pidgey can be our flying type Pokemon on the team. And of course, Venom still doesn't like me yet. So it's going to be still getting hit by Gust. And that is not good on our half. So now I have to switch out to Slave. And of course, it has to get a critical hit against us, so I'll just take, weaken it a little bit with Tackle. I'll take a chance at one more Tackle. And that is exactly where I want it. To be on a safe side, I'm switching out to Flower. Only so I can throw a Pokeball at it, and Flower can take some hits. See, it does nothing to Flower. I'm just going to throw a Pokeball at it and see how we do. And we, so we got three Wiggles and we captured Pidgey. Alright, Pidgey was caught. New Pokedex data will be added for Pidgey. Pidgey is a tiny bird Pokemon. It is one foot tall and weighs four pounds. A common sight in forests and woods it flaps its wings at ground to kick up blinding sand. So I am going to give my nickname and I am people probably all already know why I am given the nickname but if you don't know why I am given the nickname Pidgey to s I'm nicknaming Pidgey Soar because when it flies, it like it glides or it soars through the air. And Sora is a physical attacker. And it is... It only knows Gust right now until it gets to level 5 when it learns Sand Attack. So I'll be right back in one second after I go heal up. While I'm here, I'm also going to be getting some more Pokeballs. And some items as well for the forest. Um, and one of these in case if we run into a Pikachu, which I'm hoping. But you never know. So now I'll be right back with you as soon as I get to the gate to Verdian Forest. And I am back, sorry about that. Are you going to Viridian Forest? Yes, I am going into Viridian Forest. Be careful, it is a natural maze. Sorry about that. I didn't expect the house phone to ring. Ratata may be small, but its bite is wicked. Did you get one? Yes, I do have one Ratata already. Trainer tips. Weaken Pokemon before attempting capture. When healthy, they may escape. I came here with some friends. They are out they are out for Pokemon fights. 
So it's always good to have friends with you. And let's see. Okay, there's nothing in that grass. Let's see if we. Let's just. I'm gonna be getting all the items in the game as well. So we found another Pokeball, ladies and gentlemen. And when it comes for the legendary Pokemon, I will be doing all of them after I defeat the Elite Four. I ran out of Pokeballs to catch Pokemon with. You should always carry extras. Trainer tips. If you want to avoid battles, stay away from grassy areas. And here's a trainer battle right here. Hey, you have Pokemon? Come on, let's battle them. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus... Bug Catcher, who sends out a Weedle. Level 6 Weedle. Yeah, I should have trained all everybody up to at least 7 like I was saying. So I'll be doing all that off screen before the next episode. So poison is not very effective against flower. So I'm just going to be taking it out with tackles. And I'll be right back after I take out this Weedle. And there goes the first Weedle. Venom grows to level 3. Next up is the Caterpie. I am going to switch out to Venom for this Caterpie and see if Venom can handle it. I'll give everybody a shot at Caterpie. Starts off with String Shot to lower our speed a little bit. I'll be right back. Little critical hit. Another critical hit. And it's time to switch out Venom. Venom did great damage against that Caterpie. Now let's see if Sora can finish up this Caterpie for us. And yes, Sora does with another critical hit. Venom grows to level 4. And we defeated Bugcatcher, ladies and gentlemen. No. Caterpie can't cut it? Nope. We got $60 for winning. So it's not too bad at all. We got a few level ups. And I'll be right back after I go heal up. And I am back. Sorry about that. So I had to go heal up. And here's another trainer. Yo, you can't jam out if you are a Pokemon trainer. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus Bug Catcher, who sends out a Weedle, a level seven Weedle. So they're getting leveled up with us quicker. All right, back to Flower.
that is not very effective against us, so I'm just gonna... I'll be back as soon as I take out this Weedle. And there goes the Weedle. Sword gains 39 experience points and grows to level 4. Flower gains 39. And next up is a Kukuna. Now I am going to switch out to Soar. Because Kukuna and Metapods are a great way of getting experience points. So I'll be back as soon as I take out this Kukuna. There's a nice critical hit. And there goes the Kakuna. Sora gains 106 experience points and grows to level 6. So we didn't even get to level 5, we just jumped straight to level 6, ladies and gentlemen. And next coming out is another Weedle. I'm going to switch back, switch to Venom and then to Flower again. And there goes the Weedle. Venom gains 39 experience points and grows to level 5. Those are Venom stats. Flower gains 39 and grows to level 9. Not too bad at all, and we defeated Bugcatcher again. Huh? I ran out of Pokemon? Yes you did. We got $70 for winning. Not too bad at all. Alright, so I'm switching to Slave, and I'll be right back yet again after I go heal up. And I am back. Sorry about that again. So I had to go heal up. Trainer tips. Contact Professor Oak VIA PC to get your Pokedex evaluated. Thank you. So we found another antidote. So we have two antidotes now. Just seeing if we get our... I just want to get our encounter for Viridian Forest. And it is a Weedle. A level 4 Weedle. So let's just take it out. Let's just weaken it with Slave. And we cannot do any more damage to this Weedle at all. Because it will faint it. Unless I switch out to Venom. Because Venom has a weak attack power right now. So let's go for one tackle and hope we don't faint it. That is perfect. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go for that Pokeball and see if we can catch it. Alright, Weedle was caught. New Pokedex data will be added for Weedle. 
Weedle is a hairy bug Pokemon. It is one foot tall and weighs seven pounds. Often found in forests eating leaves. It has a sharp venomous stinger on its head. And yes, I am going to give this Pokemon a nickname. And I am going to name this Weedle after a famous, after a YouTuber that I love watching. You guys may have heard of him. His name is Dan, but he goes by the name of A Drive. So I'm going to, I want you guys to welcome A Drive the Weedle to the team. And I am going to be putting A Drive in front of the party so that we can get him leveled up as well. Because after the first gym, A Drive will become a Beedrill. Weedle. So he's a physical attacker with a high speed. And he knows Poison Sting and String Shot. And almost at level 5. Not too bad. Seeing if there's a trainer up here, if not, we have to take a long way through the... And yes, we gotta take the long way, okay. Alright, so there's no Pokemon there. And none there, surprisingly. Hardly any Pokemon in Verdian Forest, surprisingly. And as soon as I say that, another Weedle appears. So level 3 Weedle against the level 4 Weedle. But I am going to switch to Venom because A Drive, Venom, and Flower cannot get poisoned because they are all poison or part poison. So I'll be right back with you after I take out this Weedle. And there goes the Weedle. A Drive gains 11, and so does Venom. Not too bad at all. And now here comes all of the Pokemon. Another Weedle. Not too bad. And this time it's a level 5. So now I'm going to be switching out to Venom again. And hopefully we'll be getting a little bit better of experience points. And there goes the Weedle. A Drive gains 18 experience points, Venom gains 18. Not too bad at all. I'm just going through Verdian Forest, getting the all the encounters for today, and then stopping. I'm almost there. Trainer tips No stealing of Pokemon from other trainers, catch only wild Pokemon. And here's a final train for Viridian Forest. Hey, wait up. What's the hurry? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. EG versus... Bugcatcher. Who sends out a Weedle. A level 9 Weedle. Alright, so I'm going to switch out to that flower because of the level of this Weedle. So I'll be right back as soon as I take out this Weedle. There- Now that's what I'm talking about, Flower. You got a critical hit right away, which is amazing. So Weedle gets fainted. A Drive gets to level 5. Flower gains 49. And we defeated Bug Catcher, ladies and gentlemen. I give. You are good at this. We got $90 for winning. Not too bad at all. And we. Leaving Viridian Forest, Pewter City is ahead, ladies and gentlemen. 
Have you noticed the bushes on the, on the roadside? They can be cut down by a special Pokemon move. Many Pokemon live only in forests and caves. You need to look everywhere to get different kinds. That is correct. So let's... I actually gotta heal up a Pokemon, so I'll be right back in one second. And I am back, sorry about that, just had to make sure everybody was healed up. So we're actually doing really good on levels today, which is pretty good, for I think. So here comes another Weedle, a level 5 Weedle, and A-Drive is out on our side at level 5. So I'm just going to switch out to Venom and see if Venom can take out this Weedle for us. And there goes the uh, Whittle. A Drive gains 18 experience points. Venom gains 18 and gets the level 6. Very good. So we're doing really good today, ladies and gentlemen. Not too bad at all. And here is another Pokemon. And it's another it's a Ratata. This one A Drive can take out easily. So I'll be right back after I take out this, um, Ratata. There goes Ratata, A-Drive gains 24 experience points. Not too bad at all. Trying to find a new encounter than a Ratata or a Weedle. And it looks like all I'm finding are Ratata and Weedle, so I'll be right back. There is a Ratata, 8 Drive gains 12 experience points, Sleeve gains 12, and Sleeve gets to level 6. Sorry for that quick stop right there, just had to heal up the Pokemon. And here is yet another Ratata. So I'll be right back as soon as I take out this Ratata. There goes Ratata. A drive gains 16 experience points. Not too bad. And here's another encounter. Another Ratata. I'll be right back. There is Ratata. A drive is getting really good. A drive gets to level six. And here's another Pokemon Ray right is about to head out again. And here's another rat. To I'll be right back. Nice critical hit. So Sora is able to take out the rat. To a drive and switch gained experience points. Sora gained. Grow to level, grows to level 7. Really good.
And that is going to be it for this episode of Let's Race Pokemon Red and Blue between myself and JJ Squirtle. Thank you all so much for watching. Hope you guys all enjoyed the video. And I'll be seeing you guys um, tomorrow sometime, if I'm not too tired, for the next episode of... Actually, for not for Pokemon, but for the, for the next video for the Need for Speed Most Wanted 2005 on the PS2. Thank you all so much for watching, and have a great day, everybody.